ladies and gents, assalamu alaikum. This is Jennifer Latifa, and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So tonight I'm gonna to be talking to you about Byron Parfums and I'm gonna be doing the giveaway as well in this uh, video. So what you have to do is you have to make, leave a comment down below and tell me, have you ever tried Byron before and what have you tried or what do you like, anything Byron related and follow me on my Instagram, it's down below, and um, leave a comment on the picture that's about the giveaway. And also, I'm so sorry, but it's going to be USA only because right now we can't internationally ship fragrances. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, the first one I'm gonna talk to you about, and oh, also in the giveaway, so I'm gonna be giving away um, Mula Mula Rouge Extreme and I'm also going to give away a decant of the Black Dragon, so the two new ones that have come out. Okay, so the first one I'm going to talk to you about is new. It's called Pirates 2.0. And I have... I could only find the notes for this one in French, so forgive me on that because there will be a couple notes that I'm going to leave out. Uh, this is definitely, I can smell tuberose. Um, it's floral. This is a floral fragrance for sure. Okay, so it's got notes of bergamot, ylang ylang, tuberose, jasmine, patchouli, white musk, amber, ambergris, excuse me, not amber, ambergris, and cedar. And... This one, I want to say it's leaning feminine for sure, unless a man wants to wear a whole bunch of tuberose. Um, I smell a little bit of the musk. I'm not getting any patchouli at all. And maybe a dash of ambergris, but not too much. So, um, and that one's nice. Uh, I think women would really love that one. It's a creamy type of tuberose. Yeah, I love it a lot, actually. Okay, so the next one I'm going to talk to you about is called Black Dragon. And this one has notes of honey, pineapple, mango, cedar, bourbon vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli, amber, and musk. I'm wearing it today, actually, well, tonight. I love their sprayers. It's so beautiful, you guys. And the new bottle, like the new cap, I really like it a lot better than I like the old one. I mean, they're both really nice, but I like this one better. I don't know, it's just more substantial. Even though this is minimalistic and beautiful, I, I don't know, I just like that new lit, the new cap. So what I'm getting in this is definitely, I get the bourbon vanilla. I'm getting mango and the honey. The pineapple must be very light because I don't smell it too much. And the cigar, I smell. I smell amber. I smell musk. And I smell just a little bit of patchouli. A little bit. This is a sweet fragrance. It's very beautiful. It projects well as well. And it lasts all day on skin. This is like the second day I've already worn it and it lasted all day on my skin the first time I wore it and it's going strong tonight. Good projection, it's, uh, it's beautiful, love it. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna talk to you about is the new Mula Mula. It's Mula Mula Rouge Extreme. Also, let me show you the boxes. This is the Black Dragon box. And here's the new Mula Mula Rouge Extreme box. The simple boxes. Um, I like simplicity because I really don't care about boxes anyways. Okay, so let's sniff this. You guys, this does smell a lot like the original Mula Mula, it really does. I'm gonna compare the two. So, I have not compared the two uh, side by side yet, so I'll do that with you guys tonight for the first time. Now, this one has 
notes of strawberry, raspberry, cherry, ginger, rose bay, and caramel. It's got oud, patchouli, sandalwood, and vanilla. It's beautiful. The berries are hyped up in this one more than the mula mula. The mula mula, you get a lot of that caramel deliciousness. This one is more of a fruity caramel, if you will, with that mula mula base. It's beautiful. Okay, so I'm excited to smell them side by side, so I'm gonna do that now. And I'm gonna see which one I actually like more. Oh gosh, there's mula mula. There's something in mula mula that's like more fresh. Um, I don't know. I so the the owner of Byron told me there's an unwritten love story between mula mula and mula mula uh, rouge extreme, and I can almost feel like the mula mula would be the guy and the rouge extreme would be the girl. And I'm not saying that they're one is you know, more to one gender or the other, but I'll tell you now. I mean, Mula Mula is perfectly unisex as well as Black Dragon was. And wow, I really like this new Rouge Extreme a lot. Okay, it's definitely worth it to have both bottles. Uh, I'll just say that hands down. At first I didn't think so, because uh, when I smelled it, it smelled so similar. But it's worth it to have both of them. And let me read off some of the notes that are in Mula Mula. Mula Mula has a lot of notes. So it's got peach, red fruits, saffron, and caramel. It's got cipro oil, pink ginger, or pink pepper, ginger, agarwood. Benzoin, musk, balsams, patchouli, and vanilla. So you can see that the Rouge Extreme is definitely the berry take on Mula Mula. And Mula Mula smells more fresh, a little bit more clean mixed with the caramel, whereas to the other one is more berry with the caramel. The oud is more heavy, a little bit more heavy in uh, Mula Mula, but in a very beautiful way. It's not skanky oud at all whatsoever. I love them both. I love them both. I mean, they're both uh, unique and beautiful, and I know Mula Mula projects so strong, and I also wore this one already, and this one projects strong too, but I will say Mula Mula projects more because it's really like super beast. Like this is beast, Rouge is beast, but Mula Mula is super beast. So I love them. I'm so happy to own them all. So I hope you liked my little reviews uh, and my first impression also. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll leave the comment down below and Thank you so much for watching and stay blessed.